And now weather with Melissa Hackney on KPBI News 6, your news source for East Idaho. Good Wednesday morning. We have made it halfway through the work week, and our gift is going to be snow. But starting out 21 in Idaho Falls, 23 in Pocatello, winds around 5 to 6 miles per hour. Taking a look at our satellite and radar map of the region, we have a lot of cloud coverage as well as scattered snow showers even to the south of us. So if you're going to be doing any, any traveling today, just be prepared for some snowfall throughout the day. 35 for the high in Pocatello, 29 in Idaho Falls, so right around our average temperatures. For overnight lows, though, we are going to be a little bit above, about 10 degrees above tonight in Pocatello with a high, an overnight low of 26 degrees. Since midnight, we've seen a trace of precipitation. When I was coming in to the station this morning, there were some light flurries. 8.01 is our sunrise time. Sunset will be around 5.14 tonight. In the lower plain, snow likely, just around an inch possible, cloudy skies. 35 for the high in Pocatello and in American Falls. For the upper plain, also going to have snow likely 1 to 2 inches possible. 29 for the high in Idaho Falls, 28 in Rexburg. Then for the mountains and highlands today, snow likely, mostly cloudy skies throughout the day. 29 in Driggs, 33 in Malad City, 27 in Arco. Then tonight in the mountains and highlands, 50% chance of snow showers. 16 for the overnight low in Island Park. 23 in Malad City for the lower plain. They're also going to still have a possibility of seeing more snow showers overnight, 30% chance. 26 for the overnight low in Pocatello, 23, 22 in Blackfoot. Then for the upper plain, 40% chance of snow showers, 20 across the board for their overnight lows. Then tomorrow in the upper plain, still going to have snow likely, 1 to 3 inches possible, 29 for the high in St. Anthony, 30 in Rexburg. Then for the lower plain, have snow likely, and they're going to start to get some wind, 15 to 20 mile per hour winds, gusts above 30 miles per hour, 34 for the high in Pocatello, 33 in American Falls. But with this wind speed, it definitely could make the temperatures feel a little bit cooler, and we could maybe even see some drifting snow as well, depending on how much we get over the next. A few hours. Then for the mountains and highlands, snow likely one to three inches possible, except for the central mountains. They're going to be getting a little bit less than that. 29 for the high in Driggs, 32 in Malad City, 27 in Arco. Then taking a look at our Pocatello six day forecast, you're going to see over the next five days we have a chance of snowfall. 40% chance on Friday with a high of 36 degrees. 50% chance of snow and rain mixture on Saturday, high of 37 and a 30% chance of snowfall on Sunday. Then for Idaho Falls, six-day forecasts also have a chance of snow over the next few days. 28 for the high on Friday, 35 on Saturday.